we're about to do some repotting because I have tons of plants that need to get a little bit of a repot. They need some attention. Let me just cast this real quick and see your comments. Happy Friday. Let's see. In momentum. So I noticed I have a few plants that I did videos on, like when I either trim them or whatever the case is. And right now the growth on them is the thing. It's amazing. So I am going to go through some of those, um, show you guys what they look like. And also I may or may not repot them based on how they're doing right now. Give me one second. YouTube crash. Is that a thing right now? Just tell me that YouTube has crashed. But I think we're good. Okay. Um, so plant wise, I'm going to show you guys this one first. So remember, I don't know if I did this on video, but I know I definitely talked about this. This one is my mame and I really do need to clean her up because she has some serious dust on her. This is my mame and I have a lot of growth and I have some roots from the cuttings, but what I'm going to show you guys I'm going to show you, look, so I have some new growth points coming in. There is one right here. There is, I don't know if you can see down in the container, but there's another one right there. And then there's also one inside of here. So what I did, I went in, <laughs> this is literally a, um, a little squeeze bottle from a condiment bottle from the dollar store and I was sitting here just looking at my plants watering them and everything and this is a part that I had in a plastic wrap at one time but then I just did away with it and it tends to dry out quite a bit but what I have been doing is trying to keep it watered some of the roots started growing down into the container which is good but I just went ahead and I put like another container in here to be able to support this plant. Because what I might end up doing in the end, depending on how this grows out, I may or may not cut this one off. Especially since I have a growth point coming out on there. So that's my mame. Um, some of the cuttings from the mame, I'll show you guys real quick. Um, oh, wow, you got some roots in there already. This is one container that has some of the cuttings and we have some new roots in there so those little red lines those are the new roots that are coming in i kind of want to see them i don't like to disturb my plants i don't like to disturb my plants when they're like rooting but i think sphagnum moss is kind of forgiving And for those of you who's who's watching, if you're even watching on the playback, what is um what's your favorite? Uh, what is your favorite medium to propagate in? I swear, right now I'm really really loving sphagnum moss, and pond to me too is a great medium because if you're gonna end up keeping them in pond anyway, you don't have to take them out because they end up just growing in the pond. Where is that? Oh, it's probably on this one. Okay. Oh yeah, so this one has tons of new roots coming in. So you can see like those little reddish parts. Those are new roots. And this one is probably the one with the most. Yeah. Oh yeah. We got some serious new growth down in there. So all down in here. Oh, oop, whoops. Like 
right here, the pinkish parts, those are all, all new roots. So this is gonna do well. This is going to do pretty darn good. This is just sphagnum moss mixed with, um, there's a little bit of perlite in there. I've never really put perlite in with my sphagnum moss before, so I wanted to give it a try. Um, especially since I didn't have a good experience with perlite alone. I didn't really want to give up on it totally. So I said, let me at least give it a try in this aspect to see if it's helpful. Um, I do have this root in powder in here also that I love to use. Um, it does really, really well with giving you new roots. And I put that sometimes in my sphagnum moss or I put it in the water that I'm going to be wetting my sphagnum moss with. And I can say for sure I've seen a significant amount of growth when it comes to using that. Okay, so this one looks good. There's one plant that I cut back and I'm not sure who it is. I feel, I really think this plant is my Gloriosum. I have to go back and watch the video, but I think, I think it's my Gloriosum because I don't know where else I would have put it but it's starting to come back. So there's a video that I posted um, asking, it was like, can I save my Gloriosum? It basically had root rot. I had it for probably a few months and it was doing absolutely nothing. So I went in and basically just took all the pond out to see what was going on. And we saw that it had root rot. Um, and I believe, I believe this is it. I think this is it, I have to watch the video, but look, we got some new growth going on. So right there, you can see that little leaf coming out. Finally started doing something. So if I have that new leaf coming out, that means that I probably have some growth going on because in all the time, oh, I do. Okay, this one I'm definitely not going to disturb because Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to do a whole separate video on this one but we can see right mm -hmm. we can see right here those are new roots that are coming in okay so that's all you needed you just need me to chop your head off and then you're gonna start acting right I'm gonna do something different with this so I don't break that off so those are two that are doing pretty well um this is another one i might go ahead and cut this one on camera this is another one that i did this was a propagation air layering so a really quick and easy way to get um propagations without risking your plant or your cutting not living is air propagation and that's what i did here um so when i put this on this whole leaf was not there at all it was just this coming out so I went ahead and I put these little containers filled with sphagnum moss around this part with the nodes so that it'll give me a new leaf and that's exactly what it did. So this whole leaf right here, that is a new leaf that came up out of this part. And if I wanted to, I can go ahead and do the same thing again here. And then when I make my cut, I will basically have a cutting with roots and possibly a new, a new um, leaf coming out. So what I'll probably do first before, I'm not gonna do a whole separate video for this, but what I will do is I will, if you guys are just jumping in, um, one of the questions I had was what do you guys like the most? What medium do you guys like the most for propagating? Let me know down below. We have water, we have sphagnum moss, people do perlite, I haven't mastered that as yet. Um, people do pond, um, hydroponics with LECA. Like, what do you guys find to be the most successful when you go to propagate? So this, oh, you see that right there? Let me get some more of the sphagnum off before. So this does have some new growth. It's not as crazy as I thought it was going to be, but it was significant enough for us to get a new leaf out of. 
So technically, if I wanted to propagate this plant, I can go ahead and cut it off right here. And I think, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. Cut this off and I might just stick it in Lekka. Um, actually, I'll probably just stick it in Pond because that's what it will end up in anyway. So closer look. Ooh. And this, this, um, I have another video with this one up too. So you guys can go back and watch that. I'll probably put end cards with those videos in there since I'm doing it live and I can't point you guys to them while I'm live. So right here, that's one of the nodes that grew out. <laughs> I'm sorry. And there's another one right here. Let's look down below. Where's my little scissors? Oh, it's all over there. Let's look down below and see what the root system is like. When I did this with the mame, is it my mame? No, that's not a mame, that's a palmanii. I keep saying mame, I don't have a mame. That's my palmanii that I showed you guys earlier. This one right here, that's not mame. Keep, I always call her mame, that's not even what she is. So decisions, decisions. I think I might cut this plant down because I honestly, it's just growing too wild and crazy. So I might cut this one down to try to tame it a little bit. And I might give the mother plant to my boyfriend and I'll keep the rest for myself. And we can put this over his house. So down here, we have all of these roots. So again, if you want to propagate your plants, but um, you don't want to take the chance of cutting off the leaves and possibly having them not make it, ear layering is the way to go because you can see you already get like new leaves, you have a root system going. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Should I cut you down into two? <laughs> so I'm gonna talk myself through this real quick so if I cut if I cut right here I'm just gonna have these two leaves left and then if I cut here I'll have one cut in and then I'll have two cut ins and I'll probably leave that as is that's what I'll do started collecting anthuriums like last year um like last i think july july into august i went to philly and that's when i got my first anthurium when i was over there so yeah it's going on a year start since i started um collecting anthuriums all right so i think i'm gonna cut this one here as well oh before you do it hold on Think about it. Because <laughs> once you cut it, that's it. Yeah, just cut it. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. So I'll put this into pond. And I will put this into pond as well because it already has um, significant roots. I don't think it's going to hurt the plant to put it in pond at this time. So we'll do that. How about, I just, I just found out a couple days ago, I got thrip. I got thrip downstairs. Some of my um, basic house plants have thrip and I'm like somewhat devastated because I hate treating pests. If I find pests on plants and it's a plant that's, it's like a basic plant, honestly, I get rid of the plant. I will take that plant right back to Lowe's or I send it to my boyfriend's house, especially since I started um, dabbling more in rare plants because I'm not willing to let um, a basic house plant that I can replace easily take out my collection. And that's just how I think of it. Like I'm very bad at routine um, treatments with my house plants downstairs 
even up here but i need that's something that i need to get better at like maybe doing it every two weeks putting it on my calendar and do it when i'm notified and that'll help take care of some of the pests that we run into but thrip i feel like thrip along with mealybugs are probably some of the hardest ones to get rid of and i haven't seen i haven't seen too many people um talk about getting rid of thrip successfully or without a lot of stress and i just don't like to go through it all right so we said we're gonna put you in palm let's find some containers So that's what we're going to use. These containers I get from the dollar store. They have them back in stock now. So if you are using Pond and you want clear containers, these are at the dollar store in the gardening section. So you can find them there. Okay. I wish I had some Lekka to put to the bottom, but I don't. So we're just going to roll with it. bit of palm maybe I'll put both of these in one for now I think that's what I'll do even though I was saying that it's kind of unruly yeah I'll put it in I'll put both in one for now because I don't want like should I or just leave one in one so indecisive what do you think Put both of them in one or just do two. I'm talking to myself here. I'll do a separate. One. Gotta find a better way. Nope, that ain't it. I don't want it to be too high up. If it is, then I end up using too much time. Just need enough to cover the roots to the bottom and honestly if I wanted to I could probably take the pond up to right here and those roots will end up those roots will end up getting um, new leaves as well <laughs> need to say hey I almost missed it no you are right on time I've only been on here for maybe 10 or 20 minutes or so not many um, I was asking in the comments below, what is your favorite medium? Oh, oh that's cute. <laughs> oh my God. That um, dried sphagnum moss moved and scared the crap out of me. Sure did. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This one too, just scared the crap out of me. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm thinking too much about it. And all I got to do is keep it simple. I'm going to put both of these in here. Because you are one leaf. You, I mean, where are you going? I'm going to put both of these in here. And call it a day. And then once they start to grow up, I feel like they're getting too crazy. Then I will go in and separate it. But I think for now, this is a good idea. Yeah, so back to my thrip infestation. I, I can't even, I'm not, I'm not even going to put it, put it out there in the universe. I'm not going to say it's an infestation, but I do have thrip and it's on, I found it on my, um, angel wing. My angel wing, I brought upstairs, my polka dot plant, brought it upstairs because I thought like it needed a little bit more humidity and I brought it upstairs and put it in this little tent situation I have right here. And then I realized that my money tree, drink water, my money tree downstairs was just acting funny with the leaves. When I took a closer look, that sucker had thrip. So I'm really, really hoping that I did not bring thrips into this room. I cleaned this out yesterday. I sprayed it. I sprayed the plants around it. I'm really hoping that I didn't. 
because I would, I would die. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm gonna order this. I didn't change my fish tank yet, so I don't have my nutrient water that I like to use from my fish. Not yet, but I will for later this weekend. I don't need to do this, but I like to make sure that the rocks are wet. <laughs> even though I know that the, the rocks will just sit there and absorb the moisture from below. I like to see all of them wet when I get started. All right, so that's that. Now that is that. Who else? Oh, let me show you guys my, um, my small Jose is getting a new leaf. So you see right there, that new leaf is about to poke out of there. This one is getting a new leaf. And my bigger one already has a new leaf and it's fully open right now. So I'll show you guys that. Fully open. The roots are looking really good in there. So that one is doing well. One more thing I'm gonna do too. My Monstera Areopanata that I cut down in the last video. And I was trying to, to decide if I wanted to cut this one up before I put it in moss. I should have stuck with what I thought because this is exactly why. Sometimes when you get a cutting when you get a cutting that has a lot of leaves and not a root a, a root system, it's really hard for it to support that plant. Now, when I did this, I feel like one, maybe one plant had a brown tip, one leaf had a brown tip, but now I have like almost almost every leaf with a brown tip. And I think all of this was like two cuttings. Yeah. Okay, this is one there. I feel like that's the one that probably had the brown tip. Um, this right here is one that I should have cut into multiple pieces. And I'm probably going to do that right now because as you can see, the brown tips is telling us that the plant is not getting enough water. And that's because there's not a, a good enough root system to support it. So we're going to go ahead and cut that down. Just cut it and I don't care if these old leaves end up with a brown tip because the new leaves will look much better once they come in so what I'll probably do is I am probably gonna cut right here and I can put this in sphagnum kind of like a wet stick because it has quite a few nodes on there um, and I am probably gonna go in right in between here make a cut and hope that this one does not rot. I'm gonna put all this back in sphagnum though. There we go. So this is what I should have done initially. Got these cuts, these cuts, this right here. I could put them in water too. Definitely can put them in water with the bubbler and see how that goes. So right now they acting like they don't want to they don't want to shape up no did absolutely nothing but we're gonna put them back in moss put you in here this time i think i remember now why i had you in that container because it's deeper as opposed to this one. Come on, baby. I don't think I've really had sphagnum moss fail me on any plant in particular. With most plants, you gotta, every um, cutting that you make, most of them make it, but there's always one or two that end up not making the cut, and that's just normal. Any 
This thrift situation got me feeling busted, man. So I'm not really myself today. All right, baby. This is where we're going to leave you at. That's that. If you guys had thrift, man, tell me what you use. One thing I'm not, I don't want to do, I don't want to be doing, ugh, and I know I will have to. I've seen it where people like have to do all these treatments, like this um, washing down the plant, then they got to go spray it this day, then you got to come back a few days later and spray it. That's where my dedication and consistency will fall off because I'm just not the one. I can't. Ugh. That's stressful. And to me, my plants are not here to stress me out. My plants are here to make me happy, bring me joy, and add to my life. But the minute you start stressing me out, you got to go. So that's how I see it when it comes to my plants, along with other things in life. Put this back on the shelf. I think I'm going to repot a couple of my exoticas that's on the wall right over here. Um, I have crazy, crazy roots just screaming at me. Where did I get you from over here? Okay. Exotica, it's your turn. This is Palmenia. Go back. You go back. Um, you go back. Let's put you back too. This will probably end up at my boyfriend's house for sure. They just get so like tall and crazy. They're too tall. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you guys this. Do I have my thing up here? Yes, okay. Look at these roots. You have a good weekend too. I'm, oh Lord. I'm gonna repot these two. Am I? Am I though? Today? Oh, I watered it this morning. <sighs> you can see repotting is not really my thing. Probably be better off if I leave this till when it gets a little bit drier. So it'll be easier to repot. But it is needed. Look at these darn roots. Look. There we go. Bruiser. Ridiculous. I didn't think I was gonna repot this today, so I watered it. And it's definitely easier to get them out when it's dry, in my opinion. I lost a leaf down in here. Not just now, it was already broken off. It looks like it was a, a new leaf off of um, one of the lower cuts. It's like a ball. You know what the problem is? It's all, it's nothing but roots in here. That's the damn problem. It's not a lot of sphagnum moss left. It's just like a ball of, okay, here it comes. It's a ball of freaking roots, look. Yeah. 
Here you go, baby. Wow. I shouldn't have let it stay that long. This is um, whenever I do cuttings for like Exotica and I put them into the humidity globes, I normally put like three cuttings and it'll be single leaf cuttings for the same reason that you just saw with the uh, Monstera Areopanata. I want to give that single leaf cutting the best chance of being able to get roots. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen any of my cuttings have crazy roots like this. This is why I love sphagnum moss and this is why I love putting them in the humidity globe because they just go crazy. I mean, can we get a thumbs up for this root system though? And this is only a three leaf, um, three leaf cutting. So a cutting that had one leaf and I put three stems in there and it ends up, it basically multiplied by two because for every little single leaf cutting, I'm, I'm going to get a new leaf off of it. So I'll start out with three and then it goes to six and it goes to nine. So instead of doing like one single cutting that's long, I do it this way and it makes the plant fuller. Wow. I love sphagnum moss though. Because in the end, I can sit here, take all this off, and then reuse my sphagnum moss for another cutting. Wowza. Look at me. Yeah. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. And that little leaf that was, that little leaf that was trying to go, grow was coming off of this. So that would have been six. Okay. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. I can show you what they'll look like. Um, let me see one that, oh, here we go. Oh gosh, she's starting to climb up my wall, my plant wall. Uh-oh, get off the light. Here's another one that started off and it was just three leaves. And here we are now. Like this one is just going crazy. At some point I might, I might cut this back because it had a few situations where it just got like stemmy, but it didn't give me a leaf. Whoa. Looks like a new, oh. Did that change the audio for you guys in any way? My headphone falling out? Let me know. Hmm. Huh. So it looks like in here, we have potential for a new leaf coming in. So I might not cut this back. I'm gonna see what happens. So that looks like a new leaf might come in along there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut it, I'm gonna leave it. I will leave it. So this is what it ends up looking like. And again, this one was just a uh, three leaf propagation, three single leaf propagation and it just starts to duplicate as it gets a really good root system so that's what this is here and i got one more next to me let's take a look at the other one this one is still kind of young yeah i'm not gonna do this one today yeah it's not as bad as the one that i have right next to me right now so we'll finish taking this out of sphagnum, put it in some palm, and then it will start to grow like the other one I just showed you guys. Wow. Wow. I'm 
my wish list plant is supposed to come today so I'm like sitting at home just waiting for it I do have to run out and pick up this um very not variegated string of turtles for a friend gotta pick it up by two o'clock so I should I should be able to get there and back before whatever we have some bad weather that's coming whatever bad weather is coming this way I should be able to do that in no time oh my god look at these roots what oh my gosh listen get into sphagnum moss baby if you are not doing sphagnum moss get into sphagnum moss because this is what you end up with and you cannot tell me that this is not freaking amazing okay so that's that now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna put you back in the humidity ball but we will put you in there with palm I don't have any LECA upstairs. I like to, oh yes I do. I like to put LECA on the bottom of it to kind of take up space. So that's gonna be what I do. I can actually leave that water in there. Cause... Yeah. See? <laughs> it's so bad when you gotta go fishing for it. Golly. I gotta go fishing for this stuff. It's fine. It's okay. Oh. I need to go to Cairo again, but I don't have my next appointment until Tuesday. Normally go on Friday mornings, but they're closed today. So now I gotta wait until Tuesday. For Monday? I think I got something to go for Monday. Mm, that's a bit much. Got carried away. That is a bit much. There we go. Okay, that's that. And now, let's put you in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this one in last because that's the one that had a leaf break, um, break off because it was probably down in too far. So I'm going to start with the one that has the most, um, the most roots. Put you down in there. Boom. And then I will bring you along. Stick you there. And I'll put this one. Oh, let's put you to the back first. I know somebody's probably watching and thinking that they need to be in a bigger container but honestly um i'm learning that these exoticas they don't mind being root bound not to the point where it's like stifling the plant but i'm seeing that they grow obviously you can see in that window they're going crazy over there uh they grow pretty well uh even being root bound so i'm just trying to there we go, I like how that looks. That's a nice setup for it. Yeah. Okay, now, let's get some pond in here. This one is down here like tickling me on my leg. Should I figure out a way to 
to do pond and not have it messy? Let me know. Man, I feel like it's always so, 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 so messy. No matter how you do it. Here we go. God forbid something like this fall on the ground while you're doing it. It's time for me to reorder them. I'm probably going to do, um, I probably, I am going to do an unboxing of this package that I have coming in so you guys can see exactly what it is. I'm so excited about it. Um, man, those philodendron, what is it, Biliate? They're expensive, man. And I feel like it's on everybody's want list. If you have, um philodendrons or anthuriums you like rare plants i feel like that plant is on everybody's want list and rightfully so it's a beautiful plant but the price man price is crazy i saw one on etsy it was a um i won't say it was a cutting it probably had like five or six maybe eight leaves twenty thousand dollars Mm -mm. not at all okay so that's that all right guys i think that is it for me for today for repotting in this room i have to run out and grab this plant for a friend um i'll probably see you guys again this weekend because i'm going to show you that that gift um i can't even say a gift this order that i made and it'll be here hopefully today. So I will see you guys later. Bye.